Paul Graham from OptimalBody.ca. Today I'll be answering the question, how do they calculate calories in food? One way is they use a device called a bomb calorimeter. A lot of people know that calories are used to measure how much energy is in food. A lot of people don't realize that a calorie is actually a measure of how much heat is required to raise the temperature of one milliliter of water by one degree Celsius or more specifically, to raise the temperature of the water from 14.5 to 15.5 degrees Celsius. So what this device does is it's a sealed vacuum that is surrounded by water. They put the food within that vacuum and they burn it. And then they see how much the temperature of the water around the vacuum increases. And this is how they measure how many calories are in that food. However, they've shifted away from using that method because obviously it's not the most efficient. Now they primarily use the at water system. With this, it's an estimation of how many calories are in food. It's estimated by combining the different components of protein, fat, carbohydrates, and alcohol that are contained within that food and then calculating it. It's not a precise method. So a lot of people don't realize that how many calories are in a certain food isn't an exact science. This gets a lot of people into trouble when they're calculating how many calories they're eating and not realizing that there is room for error. For example, even if you take an apple, the degree to how ripe that apple is can change the components that are in the apple. You have a better understanding of how they calculate the number of calories in food now and understand it's not necessarily an exact science. This doesn't mean that it doesn't have any merit. It also doesn't mean there's not merit knowing how many calories in different foods or understanding how much food you're consuming but it is important to understand those potential errors.